Hello friends. In this video we will learn about components of food. What criteria would you use to classify a food item as being healthy or not? The food we eat has some essential components. These components are called nutrients. They are chemical substances that provide nourishment for the proper growth and development of our body. These nutrients are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. The process by which living organisms obtain food and utilize it for their growth and development is known as nutrition. The food items that contain these nutrients can be classified as energy-giving food, body-building food, and protective food. Energy-giving food are rich in carbohydrates and fats. Carbohydrates are one of the principal sources of producing energy in our body. They are compounds that are made of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Carbohydrates are of two types simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. Simple carbohydrates are Digested quickly Provide instant energy Broken down directly into simple substances that are then readily absorbed by blood. Examples are sugars. Some of the edible sugars are sucrose, lactose, fructose, maltose and glucose. Complex carbohydrates take a longer time to be digested. Do not provide instant energy. It is first broken down into simple carbohydrates then simple sugars like glucose and absorbed by blood. Example is starch that fulfills majority of our carbohydrate requirements starch present in corn, rice, wheat, bread and potato. Fats are energy giving food. It composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Fats are obtained from plants and animals. Fats in moderate quantity essential for body. A gram of fat releases twice the energy released by the same quantity of carbohydrates. Intake of fats in moderate quantities is essential for our body. Fats form a layer under the skin and provide us warmth. Do you know why junk food is called so? It is because junk food has very less nutritional value. These food items have high fat and sugar content, which is not good for our health. One should avoid eating junk food such as burgers, pizzas, noodles and candies. Bodybuilding nutrients are rich in proteins. Proteins are nitrogen-containing compounds made of several small units called amino acids. Proteins are extremely important for growth, repair and maintenance of the body cells. We know that our body is made up of cells. Proteins are required for building new cells and repairing worn out cells. Proteins helps to fight diseases and infections. Some of the examples of protein obtained from plants are soybeans, pulses, peas and ground nuts. Meat, eggs, fish and milk are some examples of protein-rich food obtained from animals. Protective food items are rich in vitamins and minerals. Vitamins are required by our body in small amounts but are essential for keeping us fit and healthy. Protect us from various diseases. If our body does not get sufficient amount of a certain vitamin for a prolonged duration of time, then we might suffer from certain diseases called deficiency diseases. Sources of vitamin A are papaya, carrot, mango, pumpkin and milk. 
It keeps our eyes and skin healthy. Sources of vitamin C are ramla, green chili, citrus fruits such as oranges, lemons and tomatoes. It helps our body to fight diseases. Sources of vitamin D are milk, butter, cod liver oil and eggs. It helps our body to use calcium for strong bones and teeth. Sources of vitamin E are green leafy vegetables, whole grains, nuts and olives. It is essential for general fitness and good skin. Sources of vitamin K are green leafy vegetables. It helps in clotting of blood. Vitamin B1 is required for normal growth and development of our body. Vitamin B2 is essential for proper functioning of nerves in the body. Vitamin B3 is required for various reactions taking place in the body. Vitamin B12 is essential for the production of blood cells in our bone marrow. Vitamins B, C and H are water soluble. Vitamins A, D, E and K are fat soluble. Minerals are also important elements required for maintaining good health and overall well-being. Required in small quantity, they make up about 4% of a person's mass. Iron is important for red-colored pigment called hemoglobin. This pigment is essential for transport of oxygen through blood. Blood gets red color due to hemoglobin. It is present in green leafy vegetables, apple, jaggery, tamarind, figs and guava. Calcium is essential for development of healthy bones and teeth. It is present in milk, milk products, eggs, broccoli and turnip. Phosphorus is also required for healthy bones and teeth. It is found in milk, fish, bananas and whole grains. Iodine is essential for normal functioning, growth and development. It is present in seafood and iodized salt. Potassium is required for building muscles and maintaining normal body growth. It is present in meat fish, milk, broccoli, pea, tomato, potato, citrus fruits, banana, kiwi and apricot. Sodium is essential for proper functioning of muscles and nerves in body. It is naturally found in several food items including milk. Magnesium is important for proper functioning of the heart and muscles. It is found abundantly in legumes, broccoli, green leafy vegetables, whole grains and almonds. Fluorine is essential for maintaining health of bones and teeth. However, excess of fluorine can cause teeth problems. It is present in traces in water and seafood. Other components of food are roughage and water. Plants' food material contains a lot of fiber in the form of cellulose. This dietary fiber does not have any nutritional value for us. However, it is essential for our body. Dietary fiber or roughage commonly called, adds bulk to the undigested food material. This helps in easy bowel movements and removal of undigested food. Thus, roughage helps in preventing constipation. A roughage-rich diet has been found to keep away diseases like cancer. Fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grains and pulses are foods rich in roughage or fiber. Water is not considered a nutrient, yet it is essential for our survival. About 70% of our body weight is water. It is important to absorb nutrients, transporting substances, removal of wastes from body and to regulate body temperature. It is recommended that one should drink about 6 to 8 glasses of water. A diet that contains all the different types of nutrients in correct amounts is termed as a balanced diet.
if our body does not get sufficient amount of a certain vitamin for a prolonged duration of time, then we might suffer from certain diseases called deficiency diseases. Deficiency diseases are the result of malfunctioning of the body due to lack of one or more nutrients in the diet. Malfunction caused when food taken is deficient in essential nutrients. Whereas undernutrition is inadequate intake of food. Kwashiorkor caused due to lack of protein symptoms are stunted growth, dislocation of hair, patchy skin, thinning of legs or swollen stomach, affect the functioning of the brain. Marasmus caused due to lack of protein and carbohydrate symptoms are thinning, weight loss and weakness, loose folds of skin. Night blindness caused due to lack of vitamin A symptoms are poor vision in dim light. Beriberi caused due to lack of vitamin B1 symptoms are weakening of muscles, altered muscle coordination and degeneration of nerves. Pellagra caused due to lack of vitamin B2 symptoms are inflammation of skin, diarrhea and memory disorder. Scurvy caused due to lack of vitamin C symptoms are bleeding gums, internal bleeding and delayed wound healing. Rickets caused due to lack of vitamin D symptoms are softening and weakening of bones, bow-shaped legs, easily breakable bones. Osteoporosis and hypocalcemia caused due to lack of calcium symptoms are bone and teeth decay. Goiter caused due to lack of iodine symptoms are swelling of the thyroid gland, poor growth in infancy and mental retardation. Anemia caused due to lack of iron symptoms are low energy levels, paleness, loss of appetite and reduced growth. Bad teeth and weak bones caused due to lack of phosphorus symptom is weakness. Dental caries and osteoporosis caused due to lack of fluorine symptoms are weak teeth and bones. Muscle cramps caused due to lack of sodium symptoms are loss of appetite and weakness. Low blood pressure caused due to lack of chlorine symptoms are weakness and cramps. Muscle cramps caused due to lack of magnesium symptoms are muscle weakness, irregular heartbeat and nausea. Thanks for watching. Visit our channel now for your better understanding. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel.